Imagine guys if I started to record this video and while I was recording, I just stopped in the middle and I saw a girl and I was like, hey, you know, um, I'm, I'm in the middle of a video, but I just think that you look beautiful. Imagine if I did that weird transition like that from talking normal right now to talking very low when the woman's in front of me. That transition, that reaction is what actually most guys go through. You may notice sometimes when you're around a woman or you're around women in the vicinity and you're speaking, you speak very low. You speak very low because you don't want to be seen. You don't want to influence. That's why. So the main thing behind a person speaking quiet or a man speaking quiet around a woman is that what he is really afraid of is his own power. What he's really afraid of is having the influence over her. He's really afraid of that. And it's crazy because you think he would want that, but that's not the truth. Underneath the surface, he's afraid of that. He's afraid of that because he knows in that position, he has no, nothing to lean on, no excuses. That's what this video is about. A quiet voice repels women. Learning how to speak like a masculine man is the thing that's going to be able to give you the influence that you want when you're around women or the impact that you want. This is a beautiful Budapest evening. Uh, one of the best cities that I've ever been to in my life. And I'm here to just give you guys a chance to understand your voice some more. Understand why you seem to talk so quiet the moment you get around women. Whether that be from approaching them or just being around them. What I noticed when um, I was in the beginning, something that I would do and I caught myself doing was I would run up to a woman and tell me if this sounds like you. You would run up to a woman and you would say hello to her or excuse me. But when you would say excuse me, for some reason your voice would become really quiet. It would become lower as if you don't want to intrude. And I went through that totally in the beginning of just like approaching a woman and then feeling like, fuck, I'm intruding or fuck, I am somebody and I'm not supposed to be here. She doesn't want me here. So the moment I would go up, I would go up already on the back foot, so to speak. So I would say hello, but I would be on the back foot in that hello, which means I wasn't fully there. I wasn't fully invested because I felt like if I was fully invested, then I would risk the woman rejecting me. So. I felt good with just going in like, hey, or excuse me, like, excuse me. And she would look over me like, yeah. And I go, oh, I just saw you and um, I just wanted to tell you that you look beautiful today or you look very cute. And the moment that I said that, she would go, oh, thank you. But what I noticed later on is, of course, I was giving her the compliment and she was receiving it. But my influence wasn't the way I wanted it to be. So to speak, my impact wasn't the way that I wanted it to be. And I was like, fuck man. So you're trying to tell me in a whole beginning, while I was running up to girls, giving them compliments, getting numbers, of course, everybody was flaking. One of the main reasons why they didn't want to see me again is because they didn't feel me. As I started to look, I went, yes. This is why I started to really see like, man, I was saying everything I needed to say as you are, but I wasn't having any of the influence or the impact that I was intending to have, which means her feeling like, fuck, this man wants me. This man wants to talk to me. That was the impact that I was intending for in the beginning of just letting her know that, yes, I saw you. I do think you're beautiful for real. And I'm just saying that so I can fuck you. I do feel like you're beautiful. And yes, I do want to get to know you. That wasn't clearly coming through. That was just coming through kind of halfway. So that halfway will only make her feel like, fuck, uh, thank you. That was nice. 
but not enough for me to want to see you again. And I'm here to bring you guys out of that place. You're there and you're like, man, I want to have this influence. I want to. I want to be there and I want to be able to influence the woman in a way where she knows why I'm there. Just from the moment I say hello, just from the moment I give the compliment, I want to have the influence for her to know why I'm there. But for you to have this influence, you have to understand that your voice carries a lot of power. It carries more power than you think. What I mean when I say your voice carries power, I mean that when you speak, the difference between hello and hello, that slight difference makes the woman feel you in a different way. Meaning that your power of influence over the woman goes up. Not meaning like over the woman, meaning like she'll just be like, oh my God. No, not like that. But she just feels you more. That's what you want. You want to get to that place where the women that you meet, they feel you more. But for you to get there, understand that your voice unlocks many parts of your body that you don't understand right now. The unlocking that you can go through just by allowing yourself to really speak, to normally speak, to really convey, to normally convey, can put you in a very different position. I started to learn about voice when uh, I noticed myself doing this. I would go up to a girl and I saw myself doing that and I was like, fuck man, I can change my voice. I don't, it doesn't have to be this way. So I went through training, of course, and um, I allowed myself to come to the point now where you guys, you hear me speaking and it sounds like I'm yelling, but I'm not. That's just because I project from a different place. I project from depth. And I've taught myself how to speak from depth. And this is one of the things that I love about being uh, a coach is being able to just help you guys and guide you to what is it like to really speak from your own truth, to really speak from depth when you're in front of a woman. If you guys see me in field, yeah, you're like, that's not really much, but I can guarantee you, if you fill into the woman in that moment, she'll be feeling many, many different things. Guys miss the cues that women feel. They feel many, many different things when they're in front of me. It's because I am living, speaking, allowing from depth. And the thing for you guys to understand is, your voice can come from depth or it can come from just you trying to put on a facade of, yay, I'm, I'm, I'm here, hey, uh, you look beautiful. Trying to put on that facade. Speaking of facades, there was a student I had recently and as I'm coaching him, I started to notice something very, very important to his developing. I started to notice that he was playing out a facade. He would see a girl, he would go up to her and he would be like, hey, and he'll start going to like this gushy, Philly, he might even be watching this, this gushy, feeling -y way. And he really meant it, but it was just so much. I'm like, that's too much. That's not him. And when we were, when we were, in, when we were in role play class, and there was a girl there, I started to notice he was doing it as well. And I went, okay, bro, what I can see is that this is a facade. And after getting him back to being normal in that moment, he started to feel uncomfortable because now he started to really have the power that he wants. He started to really have the influence that he wanted to have. But he thought he had to play the facade for him not to have the influence that he intends to have. This is not the truth. This is the furthest away from the truth. The truth is simply this. The more normal you speak, the more attractive you'll be. Speaking like a masculine man is speaking in your normal voice. It's not about uh, learning how to get this deep voice so you can speak to a woman like, no, it's not about like that. Or it's not even about being yelling like this. It's not even like that. But what it is about is you learning to speak from depth. You learn to speak from this moment right now. You learn to be connected to your truth and speak that when you're in front of somebody. That's a masculine voice. That's a voice that people listen to. 
Notice when guys are around women, guys who are really good with girls. When they're in groups and things like that. When they're in a group or just a guy when he's in front of people. Notice the way that that guy speaks as opposed to a guy who's just like, oh uh, yeah, so you know, talking like this. The guy who really is gonna be penetrative. The guy who's really gonna to touch the hearts of those around him, that's gonna be able to open the woman in front of him is the man who's speaking from depth, which is speaking, speaking normally. And of course, the more you deepen in yourself, the more influence that you'll have through when you normally speak. What I would like for you guys to do is I would like for you to start to become aware. Because this is the thing that I always talk about. Start to become aware. Start to become aware of, you know what? When I'm in front of a girl, is my voice fluctuating? When do I notice that it fluctuates? When I run up to a girl and I say hello, am I saying it in a soft way because I don't want the people around me to hear me? Or is I, am I lowering my voice because I don't want to intrude? You're gonna find out that it's one of two things. You are trying to get away from the reaction or the feeling of people being around you and noticing what you're doing. This is gonna be the one, the first thing. Cause remember I just said two of them. The first thing is the reaction to the folks around you. This is very, very difficult, I must say. When you first start going talking to women or you've been talking to women, when people around you notice this, the first thing you wanna do is shut down. You just wanna shut down. And one of the things that's shut down that are critical, that's critical is your voice. Your voice goes from being normal to coming like this. And as you're speaking like this, you notice that, fuck, this is really low. I don't really speak like this. I'm doing this maybe unconsciously. Wow, how long have I been doing this? You start to become aware of yourself and go, wow, I have been speaking in this low voice since I've been talking to women. I've been trying to get away from the reaction inside of myself by reacting to people around me. I see the girl right here, but there's a person there so I'll speak low enough so only me and her can hear each other. And as you're in front of the girl, you're speaking to her. And the person is there. They're influencing you, which means they have an impact on you. So while you're in front of her, you're only speaking really right here. But she's standing here. So that means you're only speaking to the level of your comfort zone. And as you speak there, you have no influence. No influence at all. But as you speak closer to the woman, so to speak, your voice becomes more because usually the girl will go, huh? Or what did, what did you say? Your voice can now get to her or allow her to hear you, but at the same time, not enough for you to influence that person that right there, which means for them to know that you're doing something out of the ordinary. Because if you just went in that moment, what I just want to say was, immediately you start to feel the pressure from them. You start to feel like, oh my God, they're here. They're looking at me. And the fact that they're looking at me, that's making me nervous and I'm in front of this girl and I know that this is out of the ordinary. Maybe this is the wrong thing to do. Maybe they'll think I'm creepy. La, 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 la. That's the cycle. That cycle haunts men forever. They do. Like many men who get out there and they try this, they give up. They give up because they're like, the pressure is too much from those around me. I just don't want to feel it. It's too much on me. Now I want to talk to her, but I can feel that this person is staring at me. They're influencing me. That doesn't feel good. I feel like they're judging me. And as you feel that non-supportive energy, it just makes you go, you know what? I'll only talk to girls who are alone. That's what it leads you to. It leads you to only going for women who walk by themselves. And you're like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just stay away from situations where there's people around, but I'll approach girls who are alone and there's nobody close by. Because there's only me and her, and I'm, dis and I'm uncomfortable about other people noticing. And where does that lead you? That leads you to really never going for the women who really, really are your type. Because many of the times, because you've set up a situation in your life where you only are willing to talk to girls who are walking alone without anybody around or sitting alone without anybody around, 
your way through to the other side is going to be to talk to a woman who's around a lot of people. So that means that forever, the girls who are going to be the best for you probably are going to be the girls who are around a lot of people. That's the amazing thing about the universe, that the universe starts doing that to you the moment you commit yourself to a path. That's the first thing. The second thing is, like I told you guys before, you just not wanting to intrude in a woman's life. You're in front of her and you go, fuck, I want to talk to this girl, but I don't want to intrude. I like her, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I go up in the right way. And I don't want to go up in a way that's too much. I don't want to go up in a way where it's too less because that's really not going up. But you know what? I'll go up in a way where it's just in between. So you walk up and it's just enough. You're like, hello, and it's just enough. You look amazing and it's just enough. So what are you up to today? And it's just enough. It doesn't really hit the woman. She can't feel you, especially with this one. This one, I think, is more worse than the other one. Now, that, the other one can influence this one greatly, but this one in itself, my God, man, this really hurts a man in his impact that he has on a woman. It really does because he only will be able to go to the surface level. Only. He'll only be able to go so much into the woman with his voice. When a man can really penetrate a woman with his voice, he can be able to allow her to feel something different, to feel him. That is the power that lies underneath. But until a man is able to harness that, until he's able to speak from depth, until, he, until he's able to connect to what's true for himself and allow that to radiate through himself, through everything that he does, his influence over a woman will be very, very minute, very, very small. And to end this video for you guys, I just want to let you know that my journey through changing my voice was a journey of me influencing women very differently. There's many women that I've been with in my life. And the fact that I'm able to deliver from depth, speak from depth, really be here totally like I am with you from depth, women feel me. They feel my presence. They feel me there. I wasn't always like that because I was afraid. I was afraid to like really speak like this. People are walking past. They are. Families are walking past while I'm right here. And I'm still allowing myself to influence them. In the past, oh, it'll, oh my God, it would have been crippling for me. Very crippling for me. But through constantly allowing myself to speak, to live at depth, to be around a woman, to look at her in the eyes and really be there, to really say things to her, to not try to be here, but allow myself to speak, speak through her, take up the space that's going on around us. That's when it really started to have an influence. Really, 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 really an influence. The power of your voice has so much influence over how attractive you are to a woman, how much she feels you. Remember, always understand this part. If a woman cannot feel you, then you are just not enough. You're not enough. But how can you be enough? By allowing yourself to really allow her to feel you. By allowing yourself to feel what you say. Really mean what you say. Have a purpose behind what you say. This is how you have influence. This is how the power of your voice starts to impact those around you. This is how. Enjoy this. Do this. Impact the women. Take your voice up a few notches when you're in front of a woman. Impact those around you. Let them know, yes, I'm here in front of the girl. Be there with her and allow her to feel you because that's what she wants. That is what a feminine woman wants. She wants to feel the masculine present there with her. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love it so much. Just giving you guys more and more and more things that's going to be able to help your life with women and your life overall. Take this advice that I've, to I've told you today, 
And not only just use it with women, but use it everywhere in your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy being you. Enjoy your voice being normal. Remember, a masculine voice is a normal voice. What I want you to do is that I want you to go over to the description box because guess what? I have something free for you. I have a free seduction program that's there and it's everything from the approach to the bedroom, covering every single step quick and effectively. Go there, get that, enjoy that program. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for, uh, for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. See you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.